Fulton County School Bus ended up in the Intracoastal Waterway this morning, but it's not like it sounds or looks. News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live in Baldwin County. And Debbie, just want to be clear, nothing bad here, but this is just in case something bad could happen. Exactly. I mean, just think about where we live. There's water everywhere. And when you think about in Baldwin County that 17,000 school kids travel 23,000 miles a day on school buses, well, what if one of those school buses ended up in the water? Frightening to even think about a school bus underwater with kids on board. Well, this is something that we can't say will never happen. But I think being prepared uh, will make us feel better. Dive teams from Orange Beach, Sierra Land, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in Gulf Shores for a one of a kind opportunity to answer the question what if? We've done a lot of things in Baton Rouge with our dive team, but we've never experienced something on this scale. Even in a controlled environment, there is valuable information here for first responders. We're interested to see how the school bus reacts in the water, um, how, how it goes down. In zero visibility water, you can't see anything, so everything's based off of touch. Divers spent hours in the water going in and out of the bus, learning what they could, and coming up with a whole new set of questions, all while hoping they will never have to use this training in the real world. We have a lot of water around here. This is a possibility that this could happen at any day. Uh, there's tons of buses running the roads every day with lots of children on them, and uh, we have to kind of be prepared for just about anything. And they did learn a lot at this training exercise that it lasted all day there in the intercoastal waterway at Saunders Yacht Works. They hope to make this an annual event and invite even more departments. They say there is no training like this anywhere in the country, and they're making their own rules as they go. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, I'm Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.